Hi, this is Chris. Today I will talk about how you can use the Internet of Things in manufacturing. And I will show you how the current state of a connected production plant can be efficiently communicated to managers, workers and even executives. One of the opportunities with the Internet of Things in manufacturing is to increase the factory visibility. That means what is happening on the factory floor. With the machines and other inventory being connected and equipped with sensors, anything out of the ordinary can be instantly detected. Any problems in the production line can affect a large part of the factory and therefore action needs to be immediate. I will show you how a connected display device can be used to show the current number of problems in the factory. And to build the device, I will use an Arduino Yun with a seven segment LED display and to connect everything you need a breadboard, eight 220 ohm resistors and nine jumper wires. To set up the hardware you start by disconnecting everything from its power source and then connect the ground of the Arduino to the LED's display ground. The rest of the connections are all over the 220 ohm resistors each. So then you connect from Arduino to the LED the following pins. The 2 goes to B, the 3 goes to A, the 4 goes to the decimal point, number 5 goes to C, number 6 to D, 7 to E, 8 to F and 9 to G. This is the Arduino code or sketch to read the problem value from the MQTT broker and show the number of the on the LED display. And after the initial includes on line 1 and 2, the bit masks for each of the digits 0 to 9 is defined on line 4. Then I set up an array with the pins corresponding to each segment on line 5 and the MQTT client object is defined and created on line 6 to 7. In the setup I set the pins to output on lines 11 to 14 and initialize the bridge on line 16. While the bridge is initialized, I turn on the decimal point on line 15 and then off on line 17. Then I connect the MQTT client to the server on line 18 and subscribe to the topic on line 19. The eternal loop simply runs the MQTT library loop on line 24 that checks for publication on the server. When a callback is received, it converts the payload, a numeric character, to an integer on line 29, and then turn on the corresponding segments according to the defined mask on lines 30 to 33. With that in place, a server application can publish a problem indicator on the MQTT topic, and to simulate that, you can open a terminal and give the command at the bottom. And then you see how our problem indicator changes accordingly. Imagine this device put on a factory wall where it will be instantly visible to both fact facility managers and workers. And I have a link down in the description there on a, on a huge uh, seven segment display of 20 inch. The point here is that when there is a problem, it concerns everyone. A similar device could also be put in the executive's office to make a live connection to the factory. And that's how you can use the Internet of Things in manufacturing. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.